So if you're anything like me, or rather the same age as me, old, you'll remember the friendly old merchant from Resident Evil 4. There was just something about the dude that just made you feel safe in his presence. After Resident Evil 4 and Leon's perilous adventure in Espana, we didn't ever see the jolly old merchant again. That is until Resident Evil's second village trailer, which dropped way back in September 2020, where this character was featured, and the Resident Evil series welcomed the Duke into the fold. In this video we'll be looking at the Duke, his potential origins, and why he is there in the village. We'll also look at some of the potential theories surrounding this mysterious character. Please be aware that there will be spoilers in this video for Resident Evil Village and potentially for Resident Evil 4 if you've not played that yet, so if you have played those games and you want to, well I'll just say that you have been warned. So in Village, Ethan first meets the Duke after escaping Heisenberg's games and just before entering into Castle Dimitrescu. Throughout the game, the Duke, despite his size, is able to consistently move around the village for one purpose, to serve the needs of Ethan. Now, in the game, we can find a couple of documents, the first of which being a guest book inside the castle, which states that Alcina Dimitrescu held business discussions with the Duke. In my Story Explained video for Village, I mentioned when discussing Lady D that she had a hereditary blood disorder named Porphyria, and also that given her unique, let's just say, abilities, i.e. her ability to transform into this form, and then back again, meant that, according to Miranda, she needed regular bodies and blood. I know in this note that there's another man called Rednick, who seems to deliver humans to the castle for, well, consumption, but maybe they got a little hungry and ate Rednick, so therefore Lady Dimitrescu needs to do business with the Duke and source these bodies another way. Look, you may be thinking that, nah, Duke wouldn't do that. Well, as Duke himself says... Duke? Why are you here? Where there's coin to be made. <clears throat> The Duke himself would bring or provide anything that the villagers wanted. For example, the second note in the game regarding the Duke mentions that the Duke would bring a villager newspapers so that he could read all about the outside world since Miranda, after taking control of the village, had banned all knowledge of anything outside of the village. He'll literally do anything as long as he makes coin. And he'll also go wherever there is potential money to be made. Absolutely nothing is off the table for the Duke. Throughout my first time playing the game, I just thought, probably like many people, that the Duke was purely just a gameplay mechanic, a simple trader. That was until he started to become more heavily involved in the plot. He gives Ethan hints as to where Rose is being held, and he informs him that his daughter is in the Four Flasks, indicating that he probably knows what Miranda's plan is. And he pretty much saves Ethan's life after Miranda rips out his beating heart, and then he delivers Ethan to Miranda's ceremony site, not to mention the previous reference business meeting with Dimitrescu. Now when you compare that to the humble merchant from Resident Evil 4, who doesn't give you any advice or get involved with the plot, it makes you think that he's a lot more involved in this plot than you might initially imagine. I've been racking my brain trying to think of theories on who the Duke is and his possible origins. Now, bear in mind that these are just theories and not what I actually think is the case. One theory is that Duke isn't really his name, he was an actual Duke. It's possible that Miranda tried to experiment on the Duke with the Cadu, but he wasn't having any of it. It's possible that the castle was in fact his, and he was ousted from his castle by Miranda. But what's puzzling here is that Lady Dimitrescu is described as a woman of noble descent, meaning that the castle is hers too. Both Lady and Duke are titles used by monarchy. Could it be that Alcina is related to the Duke in some way? Maybe a brother? He is also abnormally large. I'd imagine that if he was to stand up, he'd also be fairly tall. Another extension to this theory is that according to the concept art for the Duke, he was originally intended to be a fifth lord. Quite why it didn't play out that way is unclear, but it's possible that despite Miranda's plan for him to be a fifth lord, and him refusing to be experimented on, led to him being ousted. In the cart after he saves Ethan, it seems that the Duke has his own coat of arms, or his seal, much like the other lords, on the carpet, depicting an owl. The next theory, although kind of ridiculous, is that the Duke is actually Leon Kennedy after he's, well, apparently let himself go. The last we saw of Leon was in Resident Evil 6, and after Leon's PTSD-inducing experiences in Raccoon City, in Spain, and in China, given that we haven't seen him since, 
It could be that he simply disappeared. The Duke does mention this at one point. What are you buying? <laughs> Just something an old friend of mine used to say. Would Leon have considered the merchant from Resident Evil 4 a friend? I mean, I'd certainly say so. A lot of people believe that this is a plausible theory due to Leon being infected with Las Plagas in Resident Evil 4, but this in itself is such a huge stretch of a theory due to the fact that Leon was cured by Ashley Graham and Las Plagas and the Mutamycete cannot be linked. Or can they? What's interesting about this theory is that Las Plagas and the Mutamycete, or the mold, are both parasitic in nature. Remember that in order for Miranda to experiment on the villagers, she had to create the parasite, or rather a bioweapon called the Cadu. What's more is that the parasites themselves, in both cases, connect to a hive mind. From Resident Evil 4's lore and backstory, the Las Plagas predates the Mutamycete, or at least its discovery, as the Las Plagas was actually sealed away by the Salazar family throughout a number of generations. You can also see that when Ramon Salazar transforms, his transformation is kind of similar to Lady Domitrescu. Hell, maybe they are linked, making the theory for Leon being the Duke, I guess, kind of plausible. Does he look similar to Leon? You decide. Anyway, let me know what you think of this one down below. Now, we've already discussed the fact that the Duke could have been an experiment by Mother Miranda, making him the way he is in the game. He could well have had a Cadu implanted in him and is now part of the collective consciousness of the mold. This could also be a key reason why the guy is so calm despite the potential threat of being attacked by lichens, being that he is immortal. I mean, Ethan can literally shoot at the guy with a grenade launcher and nothing happens. This, I guess, could also tie into how the Duke knows the merchant from Spain in Resident Evil 4, as if Leon shoots the merchant, he dies, but then he reappears later on, signalling a possible immortality. He hangs up garlic in his area in Castle Dimitrescu, but I feel that this isn't because of Lady D and her three thirsty daughters. Remember, an in-game document tells us that the three daughters aren't really vampires, they are instead made up entirely of flies with carnivorous cravings. In the game, we see that Heisenberg hated Miranda because of what she turned him into. She took his dignity. Does the Duke hate Miranda too for this same reason? Is that why he is helping Ethan get his daughter back in the hopes that he'll kill Miranda in the process? I mean, the Duke loves making coin, and with most of, if not all, of his customers gone, i.e. the villagers being turned into lichens or killed by Miranda, he simply wants Miranda gone. This could in fact be why he is giving newspapers to the villagers, so Miranda's hold on the village and its villagers will be weaker. The Duke reveals at one point that he was watching Ethan battle Heisenberg, and that's when he picked him up and took him to Miranda, so that Ethan could finish the job. This theory is plausible when you hear the Duke say this. Speaking of foolish questions, who or what are you? <laughs> even I can't quite answer that. It seems that the Duke himself doesn't even know who or what he is, possibly due to experiments by Miranda, turning him into something that he doesn't even recognize anymore. I really hope a DLC reveals more about this mysterious character and his origins. How awesome would it be if the DLC was set back in a time where we could discover how the Duke became the way that we see him in the game, potentially even playing as the Duke himself? But that's it for this one. They are just a few of the theories regarding the Duke. If you can think of any more, comment them down below. I'd be really interested in reading them. Leave a like on the video and subscribe if you aren't already. But for now, take care and I'll see you in the next one.